Throughout the process of our project, as a group and individually, we used audience feedback to gain responses from members of our target audience. From the audience feedback that I conducted, I gathered useful and constructive opinions on our three products and the work that I was doing. The first audience feedback that I conducted was for the title sequence that I made. After completing the title sequence, I sent the YouTube link to members of our target audience for feedback. From this, I learned what worked well and also what could be improved. The audience feedback is vital to ensure that our products are created to the highest standard at, and also they are appealing to our target audience. I also gathered audience feedback for our final magazine cover. I learned from this that our target, our target audience had varied opinions on the overall look of the magazine. This was again important to see what our target audience did and did not like, which will help us in the evaluation of our products. Overall, I learned from the audience feedback, honest opinions from our members of our target audience. This was important to have throughout the process as it allowed us to change and adapt our products to best suit and appeal to what our target audience wanted to see. I conducted audience research to find the name of our magazine product. I first brainstormed some names. This included names such as Real Films and Behind the Scenes Pass. I wanted to keep to a similar theme as real magazines such as Total Film and Empire. I then asked my peers which name was their preferred choice. The majority vote went to Cinematics. With this research I was able to find a magazine name that was supported by my target audience so I knew it was effective. Once the poster was completed I got feedback from my audience to make sure that the poster was effective and fit to the conventions of real horror posters. I received good comments that stated the poster definitely matched the horror genre as it looked sinister and menacing. The audience members also commented that they wanted to find out more about the girl as a result of the poster. I therefore found out that the poster undoubtedly met its main aim, which is to gain an interest from the audience and persuade them to watch the film. After finishing the trailer, we created a questionnaire which we would give to our test group. We found people to watch the trailer and then gave them the questionnaire so we could get a response on the effectiveness of our trailer. Our questionnaire consisted of both qualitative and quantitative data as we asked them to name the effective moments but also to rate the jump scares and answer yes-no questions on the clarity of the narrative. Our questionnaire response showed us that effective elements of the trailer were aspects such as the jump scares, the shortcuts towards the end, and scenes such as the opening and the loft scene. Also, 100% of our audience thought our trailer conformed to the conventions of a professional trailer. Another part of the questionnaire was if the combination of the products worked together to create an effective promotional package. Our feedback showed that all of our audience found that the combination of products linked effectively. This assured us that we were able to create in synergy so our products worked effectively together. I did the first initial audience research which mainly consisted of finding out who our target audience was. This is mainly like those who fitted between the 15 to 20 age range category. This is because obviously most horror films are classified at the age 15 plus. This provided a solid, solid basis of who would be watching our product and who to send our products to for constructive criticism or feedback. The first audience feedback we conducted was when me and Izzy decided which subgenre to do. It was important as we had to understand which subgenre was popular in our age category, as most films have an intended audience. As the paranormal genre was most popular, we chose that and it was understandable because of the rise of supernatural killers, which were replacing serial killers. This is evident in films such as the Paranormal Activity series, the Conjuring series, or even the Insidious series, and these films were all popular amongst our age group. I did some audience feedback for our storyboards, where I asked people on social media whether our storyboards looked efficient and if the storyline was clear. This is important because if the audiences cannot understand what we are trying to portray, then we will struggle during filming as our cast will struggle to interpret the storyboards, which will waste time. The feedback I received liked how we built the narrative revolving the concept of a young girl which seeks revenge on our protagonist, Kate. A successful trailer should give an idea about what the film is about to eliminate confusion and create the audience's interest. With our successful audience research, this allowed us to continue to the filming stages before post-production. Another role I had was to decide which picture to choose for our poster. I conducted a photo shoot of our antagonist, and evidently there, were, there was a rich selection of images I could choose. 
I had three photos which I thought were suitable, yet I really struggled to decide which ones. So I printed them out and asked my other media peers for some help. They decided on the one that looked the most intimidating and gave me some editing tips. My peers helped me make these decisions which contributed to the effect of my final poster. The antagonist's eyes looked more direct and sinister, which follows the conventions of a highly effective horror poster. During the editing process of our trailer, I started out by following our storyboards. I showed the trailer to our assessor to give us some general feedback as I felt the trailer was becoming more like a short film. She definitely agreed with this, which allowed me to make the rational decision to cut scenes which were li of little importance to the trailer and keep the important ones. This meant our trailer was more exciting rather than boring, which could elevate their fear levels when watching our trailer. Finally, we conducted a playtest which involved our audience to watch the trailer followed with a questionnaire. This allowed us to physically observe their reactions to our trailer and also gave us objective data for us to analyse for us to see how effective our trailer was. Overall, our feedback was very positive, such as on question number four, 100% of people believed our storyline and concept was clear. This can be inferred from the previous re audience research from the successful storyboards. Another quantitative question was how effective the jump scares were, which scored around 4 to 5 for being highly effective. The main element of a successful trailer is to thrill and scare the audience. By this rating, we understood that we have achieved this. In conclusion, audience feedback was exceptionally important as we were able to use criticism constructively in order to create and adapt our work to produce free, successful and professional products.